Akuna has asked, Hi man, I lodged today and received a bridging visa acknowledgement application received. Okay, good to hear. Now when I saw my IMI under when I saw my IMI under my application, my partner's name and my kid's name also reflected the bottom of my name with all my attached evidence. Do I need to upload documents to their name or I need to create a new application for Troy sponsorship for a partner to migrate to Australia. Then under this credit application is where I upload all his documents, right? So in terms of your children, Akuna, um, if they've been attached as migrating dependents of an application, then that's, it. that's where you would attach their birth certificate and their passports. If they've been declared as non-migrating dependents, as in they are your children, but they're not being attached as, app as applicants to the application, they will still show up there in the IMI checklist. And I would still in fact attach their passport and birth certificates to their, their name in the IMI checklist. And that's really all you would need to do for the time being. Uh, in future though, depending on the children's ages, uh, you're depending on what your intentions are, they may request medicals and police clearances from them, but that's something that might pop up in future. Nothing you need to do right this minute. In terms of Troy as your sponsor, yes, you do need to submit a sponsorship form, which is something that I addressed at the beginning, beginning of this video that is submitted through the IMI portal. Um, that's his online version of the Form 40SP, which is the appropriate Form 40SP now. Then under this created application, so under the sponsorship, is, is it where you should upload his documents? We like to upload the sponsor's documents under the visa checklist. So I'm gonna draw this because this, this can be confusing. So what we have is, this is the scenario, okay? You guys are in your IMI portal and you submit the visa application form and you submit the sponsorship application form right you submit this first and then you submit this second both under the IMI portal when you submit the sponsorship form, it's going to ask you for the TRN number of the visa, which is where you put this visa's TRN. That's how they are linked. Now, what Akun is asking is that once she submitted the visa, the IMI checklist was populated for her as the applicant. Okay, so that'll be the majority of the screen, let's say, her as the applicant, her children, let's say two children, and then her sponsor, okay? So sponsor and then children. Sorry guys, I just realized, let's do this, there you go. So applicant, her children who are, I'm not sure if they're migrating dependents or non-migrating dependents, so I, I can't interpret that based on her message, but either way, if they're declared as either migrating or non-migrating dependents, they, they'll show up in the IMI checklist. Um, and then there's the sponsors, details there. When she submits the sponsorship form, there's also a checklist for the sponsor here, right? Now, really, this, this, and this is the same. So what we like to do is just to, so that you have one reference point, is we like to attach the sponsor's documents here not here because otherwise when you're going to attach new documentation in future should you wish to you just need to log in find your visa trn and have a look at what you've attached and it's all there rather than trying to log in look at the visa okay what was attached there and let's go back to the sponsorship what's attached there whereas if you have it all there it's it's a lot more convenient it's centralized and it just helps you to keep organized and it's more efficient and given that it's the same thing Okay. They provide you an option to provide the documents in relation to the sponsor here and also here. Now, the reality though, is that the majority of the documentation is here. Okay, so I'm gonna say, let's say 85% of all the documents will be uploaded under the applicant because that's where the relationship evidence goes. And then, you know, you're attaching, like I said before, 
passport and the birth certificate for the children, passport and birth certificate for the children, and then the sponsor, I would keep it super simple. I mean, you're attaching, let's say, his citizenship documentation, and this is all outlined in the VZ checklist in terms of what documents you should be attaching for sponsors. Let's say, you know, his passport, his birth certificate, and his police clearances, you know, his AFP, and any, any overseas police clearances, okay? That's basically all you're really attaching for the sponsor is proof of their Australian citizenship and proof that they are of good character because they need to be assessed against certain character requirements to sponsor part of these applicants. Um, but should you wish to, you could really attach all these things here as well. You don't need to attach twice, okay? Just choose one location I would recommend there so it's all in one one spot Akuna I hope that answers your question uh, if I've misunderstood just let me know but I'll keep working through the questions as long as I can as soon as I can pick up my pen